What's up guys, how you doing? Good, right? From last video of the torque converter blowing up. So, I'm gonna flip this around, I gotta see my face. So, as you all know, <clears throat> the torque converter blew up and stuff like that. Well, in this video, well, I already kind of started because I had to start here because the camera's memory got full and I uh, corrupted a lot of files and I'm like, damn it. And sorry for the wind, it's because it's a really windy day. But for today, as you can see with the bike, this is what I was going to show you guys, but the stupid camera had to do it, is now the gas tank is fully on. It's no longer moving. So what I did, don't worry about my booger weld, this is really bad, but I uh, had to make this bar and this little piece right here so it can mount in. Another thing too, the seat's fully in as you well know, but it sits nice and flush so it's not too bad so today we are going to be doing one more extra thing and I'm happy to get it because this came pretty pretty fast so I have to do the throttle of course the throttle itself <clears throat> the throttle itself was not all the way on like some extra cable was showing um, the throttle cable that I got was uh, you know universal Harley Davidson thing stuff like that So we had to cut a piece of the actual BB off make our own ferrule and make the cable a little bit shorter because the one I got was a 60 inch I needed 58 But there's no 58 that's cheap on the web. So I had to make it So right now it's being made um, my dad's doing his thing because I suck at ferrules. He's better So I'm trusting him another thing too as you can see the headlight it is now you know, gone. I figured a way how to do the headlight. Uh, I didn't include this in the uh, video that got corrupted, but the headlight, I've figured out that I can use lithium batteries to power it, and we'll have headlights and tail lights. But for now, this, that's not part of the video. What I'm happy about, we got our torque converter in. Don't worry about my water bottle. So, we got another eBay 150 bucks, same chain and everything like that. Um, I'm just gonna use the clutch itself since that one broke off that one. Luckily it didn't damage the threads on the crankshaft. So, I'm just gonna take the torque converter from there, put it on there, and hopefully by this video, you will be seeing me ride this sucker around this little area that we got, because I can't ride it far. After that, I should be able to hit some shots of me in the desert over here, so you can see. It's gonna be a little sketchy because of course, I don't have any foot pegs or anything like that to, you know, protect my feet or anything, so. Gotta be very careful. So. Let's put the torque over there on. Got my knife. It's not a, it's a cheap eBay knife, so I should know. I didn't get this knife from eBay. I got, I got this thing from Wish. And as you can see, it kind of sucks. I cut. Oh, I don't need to cut that. Up. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually gonna need that back. And there she is. New torque converter. Yay! And the cover. I'm going to use a new belt on it because, you know, I'm going to keep, actually, I'm going to reuse the old belt. So it does not torque converter, all the same bolts and everything like that. Uh, I'm not going to worry. Ooh, shims. I'm going to use those. And there we go. New clutch. So we're going to be putting that on there. So let's do that now. All right, another thing too, guys, um, I've learned from, literally from torque converter blowing up, the one they provide you, the bolt to hold on to uh, the you know, centerpiece, a little too short for my liking. So what I did is I went to Ace, just got myself a really long one, and I'm gonna be using a, you know, the washer right here, of course, the stock washer that came with it, and I put a little blue Loctite. Don't use red unless you want it to stay on there forever, which I don't plan to, so. Goes right up. Hey, don't you dare. I saw you. I saw you. Okay, as you see, it is now on. And yes, if you notice the edit cut, I forgot to put the belt on. So the belt is now on, the torque converter is on. So the last step is to remove these little bolts that I have hanging on the side and put the plastic housing on. After that, we should be ready to go. Just make sure you don't do the same mistake as I did as a blow it up well my, I should say someone else but 
Nah. Not gonna get in trouble for that. <laughs> All right. There's Dorga Bird, new cover. Hopefully this doesn't blow up. But as you can see, everything's hooked up now. I can start the bike, but I'm not going to because I don't have a throttle, which the whole carburetor is torn apart. So let me just uh, really put this fast together for you so we can get ready. All right, guys, so you can see I'm getting ready. Just going to take it up and down the street, see how it does. So let's go ahead. You saw I just pull out of the backyard and let's see how we do. As you can see, here's a yard and everything, and here's a wonderful bike in the, in the front. Now, try to ride it, as you saw, what's happening in the front right here, the wheel itself is wobbling left and right, almost like a drag slick. Same thing with the rear. These things have no PSI, even though it looks like it's aired. So, I gotta put some air in this sucker. Oops, sorry about the bad camera angle. But she actually moves. It's not that bad. It's just, you know, it's fighting with me with the wheel, so. Put some air in both of these. See how it does. Alright, and there you go. She runs. Uh, she's running a little lean because I don't think the uh, fuel's, you know, mixing right and stuff like that. But she is running. As you saw, she was actually flying. Um, I tried filling up the front tire again. Um, it turns out this is a bad tire. It leaks through the beads. So what I'm going to do is find a uh, side valve uh, tube and just go tubing that one. And then the rear tire is a little dry rotted. Uh, on the sidewalls, so I gotta be very careful on that. So yeah, there's my helmet. Thanks, Bell, for making that helmet. All right, so there you go. Uh, if you're wondering why I have tape over here, um, it has my uh, it has my old job's name, and I don't want to, you know, put out the name and stuff like that and say, you know, uh, go with them and stuff like that. No. Um, so I gotta take off the patch that's under there just for now, but I'm gonna be putting my own patch, so that's gonna be pretty cool. So. Uh, yeah, this project ain't done yet, so let's have a little fun. So, see ya.